Hello and welcome, Cabbage here. Let's have another look at uh, Hordai. And then, uh, last video was my first time clear. Uh, this is my main farming team video, uh, which means I've played it uh, many more times, I've beaten it a few more times, um, so I have a better knowledge of the mission. And then uh, we want to bring all wood characters with a pierce and no damage wall, uh, because we want to get through these uh, anti-bounce guys. Um, and then pinch in between the uh, Aqua Dragons uh, after we hit the Sling Style Change panel. And that's kind of the main uh, thing about this mission, is uh, just that action over and over. And um, the ideal way to get through this first stage is to go through it with your first three characters and then uh, do those three pinch shots, uh, because that will set up your fourth character uh, in a good spot for the next stage. I uh, wasn't able to take down the guys though, so uh, we'll have to improvise a little bit. Um, if I have a shot on these uh, top two guys, then I'll pinch in there. Uh, they can revive everybody else, so I do want to get rid of them. Um, but these uh, dragons on the sides, uh, they can make other enemies uh, invisible, or um, intangible rather, um, so we can't hit them. Um, so we want to you know, take down guys that are tangible. And then um, the, the blue dragons that we just took down on the sides, uh, they will uh, restore their HP every turn. Um, so we basically have to take them down from full to zero HP in a single turn. Uh, but once they are gone, then the other characters will not turn intangible anymore. Um, so then we can go after them. And then uh, the anti-bounce guys, they do have a one-hit KO. It's that uh, higher number on them. Um, so we do want to get rid of them uh, by then. Um, ideally, we want to get rid of the pair together, uh, since they will revive each other. Um, but if the anti-bounce guy is getting close to his one-hit KO, we can just take him down, uh, just to buy us a little bit more time. Okay, same deal here. We're just going to you know, do that uh, piercing pinch on these three pairs. And then there's the uh, Urashima Taro in the middle. And then uh, this time he will be the one making the other guys intangible. Um, you can take him down first and then all of the other little guys will run away. Um, but of course we have to keep an eye on the anti-bounce guys as well. Um, so what I usually do here is get rid of the anti-bounce guys first um, and then take down Urashima Taro later. And then uh, to talk about the team that I'm using, first is uh, Waraberion, or uh, Kevin Ascension. He is a Pierce with uh, Flight and Null Damage Wall. So he addresses uh, both of the uh, damaging gimmicks here, uh, which is nice. Uh, the mines aren't terrible. Uh, we can hit them, you know, and they'll take a little bit of HP, but not a whole lot. Uh, but yeah, just to save ourselves a little bit of damage, uh, that can be good. And then uh, he is a Power Type, so he's a little bit slow. Uh, but I do like that he has a power type here because, um, yeah, he gets more damage in per hit, uh, especially in uh, weak points. And then uh, he has a, a speed and power up uh, bump combo, which can, uh, of course, increase our damage. Alright, so here um, on this stage with all the little guys gone, then we can go after uh, Urashima Taro. And then Pierce attacks, I think, are going to do more damage. Um, so if I am on top of a sling style uh, panel, um, I'll try to hit another one to change back to Pierce, uh, so I can go back to doing damage to the boss. Okay, second character I'm using is uh, King, and then uh, he was from the uh, Nanatsu no Taizai collaboration. Uh, he is also a Pierce with no damage wall and um, flight, uh, but he also has no block, um, so he has a uh, good freedom of movement here. And uh, yeah, no block is very important uh, for me anyway to play through this quest. I think it makes it a lot easier. Um, if you don't have characters with no block, then you need to be pretty familiar with how large the blocks are and how to bounce off of them and things. So uh, yeah, I think for people just starting out in this mission, no block characters are recommended. Um, there's also um, Magmel, the uh, drop monster. Um, if you are a master of this uh, mission, though, you can go ahead and use characters without uh, no block. 
Okay, fourth stage. Um, so again, then we have the uh, bounce guy, no bounce guys, and the aqua dragon pairs. We want to get rid of them before the uh, one hit KO. And then we have these uh, new uh, enemies, these uh, Bahamut X's. And then um, they uh, move around every turn, uh, but they always move right next to the sling style change panel. Um, so if we can get our guys uh, in between the wall and them, then we can pinch and take them down in one shot. And then uh, we do want to take them down because uh, they will heal the boss, so. Okay, to continue talking about uh, King, uh, he also has a weak point slayer, which is uh, very nice for this mission. Uh, the boss, of course, but also a lot of the uh, enemies have weak points. Uh, so that's extra damage there. Uh, the thing about King, though, is that his base attack is kind of low. Um, so, yeah, as much as possible, you want to hit his gauge, and then you want to hit those weak points. Um, there are certain cases where you... Uh, can miss the gauge and so lose null block and then get uh, like a loop hit in and then it doesn't matter how much your attack is you can just do a lot of damage that way uh, but in most cases you're going to want to hit the gauge with uh, king uh, he also has his uh, sunflower strike shot uh, where um, every time he hits a character they will get a laser from his uh, sunflower uh, that's very powerful Okay, so there we're able to get the uh, pinch shot by turning into a bounce there. And then it's just us and the boss, um, so we can just do damage to the boss. Uh, she won't turn intangible anymore, so... Okay, last stage before the boss sequence. Uh, th same thing here, we'll get rid of the pairs. Uh, and then we'll get rid of the uh, blue dragon guys. Uh, because they will make the boss uh, intangible. And then finally, we'll go after the boss. Okay, third up, I am using uh, Mjolnir uh, Evolution, I believe. And then she is a Pierce with uh, no damage wall and no block. And um, yeah, another no block character, very useful for me. <laughs> and probably if I did not have King or Mjolnir, I would not even be trying this mission. Uh, but she has a strike shot where if she hits a uh, weak point of a, uh, an en enemy, uh, they will be paralyzed. And uh, yeah, again, works well for the boss. Uh, if your timing is right, you can use that to skip uh, certain attacks. Um, or you can use it on little guys just to uh, make it easier on yourself. Alright, so here King started on a sling style panel, so he would turn into a bounce. Um, so I tried to find the best shot uh, to take advantage of him being a bounce. So we did a pinch shot on the right. Okay, and finally, uh, my friend, I'm using a Seshu. And then uh, she is a pierce with no damage wall, of course. And uh, she also has a water slayer, so that's extra damage on all of the uh, enemies here. And then uh, she has a strike shot. It's a Grand Command strike shot, uh, but she flips the sling style of all of the um, teammates. Um, so all of my characters will become uh, bounce. And so if you use this right, uh, you can get uh, pinch shots uh, with the strike shot pretty easily. Okay, so all of the little guys are gone. There's that weak point slayer coming in handy there. Okay, pretty good. Okay, first boss stage. Um, again, we'll want to take down the pairs of guys, and then we'll want to get rid of the, um, the blue dragons, and then we'll go after the boss. And there I saw a good angle uh, with a Seshu to get down there and then take down that blue dragon. Uh, but yeah, with the other blue dragon, they made uh, that pair up at the top uh, intangible, so I wasn't able to uh, take them down. Uh, but we'll keep working on trying to get rid of these pairs. Alright. 
All right, the other pair becomes intangible again, so we can't take them out. So we'll go after the uh, blue dragon. Okay, nice critical. <laughs> Alright, and then here we'll try to get rid of the pair. I'm going to try a tricky shot. We'll bounce off the block and get in there. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so again, just us and the boss. And uh, we'll just go after that weak point. Alright, I want to stay up here. So with uh, King, we'll hit both of these sling style panels. All right, very good. And this should do it. Okay. All right, second boss stage. Uh, we want to get rid of the pairs, of course. Uh, we also want to get rid of the uh, Urashima Taro. He is the one making other guys uh, intangible. Um, but actually, there's a trick here. Uh, if you have Session uh, right under Hold Eye, uh, and then Hold Eye is, of course, a tangible, uh, you can use a Session's uh, Strike Shot. She'll become a bounce. And then she can get a, um, a match Shot under Hold Eye. And then just clear the mission outright, because you'll do so much damage there. Uh, it's very difficult, though, to do that. Uh, for one thing, you have to get the positioning right so that Seshu uh, starts out down there. And then uh, you also have to be in a uh, turn uh, where the boss will be tangible. Um, so that either means uh, starting the stage with her turn, um, or uh, taking down the Urashima Taro with another character, and then the, uh, the next turn, or the later turn, uh, do the strike shot with Seshu. Alright, I did not fulfill any of those uh, requirements, however, so we'll just take down the boss the old-fashioned way. Okay, let's try kind of a zigzag angle here, see if we can get rid of that pair. Okay. Alright, a little bit risky move because my HP was low, but we'll grab the heart here. Alright, and just lucky uh, shot there, but we'll get a bounce uh, attack on the right there. Alright, pick up the heart and then move on to the last stage. Alright, and everybody is here. Um, so again, we want to get rid of the pairs of guys, uh, and then we want to get rid of the uh, Urashima Taro, uh, and then of course we want to get rid of the uh, Bahamut X's. Uh, it's tempting to go after the Bahamut X's first, uh, because, you know, if we can pinch in between the wall and them, then they're gone. Uh, but, of course, we can't forget about the, uh, the pair guys, so... Uh, we'll get rid of that with King. Uh, but yeah, basically, turn by turn, uh, just look at uh, your character, look at all of the um, different options that they have for shots, and then see which is their best shot. Um, so there I saw with the Mjolnir that she didn't have a good shot on the pair of guys. Uh, we had a much better shot on the Bahamut X, so that's why we went for that. And then um, I also saw that uh, Kevin and then Seshu both had a pretty good shot on the pair. Um, so that's why I was also able to take that shot with uh, Mjolnir. Okay, we'll try to pinch here on a Bahamut X as well. Okay, good. Okay, so now let's get rid of uh, Urashima Taro. And then I will try to use King's uh, Strike Shot here. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, that was enough. Good. Okay, boss is still intangible, unfortunately, so we'll just uh, skip this turn. Um, even if the boss were tangible, though, I wouldn't have used Mjolnir's uh, Strike Shot, though, uh, because uh, the stun would be good for two turns, and then all of uh, Hold Eye's attacks were more than two turns, so... 
All right, but here let's use a Seshu's uh, Strike Shot. Everyone will become a bounce. And then I saw a place where I could get above Hold Eye. And then uh, with Seshu and her Water Slayer, we'll take down the boss. Okay, so that was Hold Eye. And um, yeah, I am actively working on making the max luck of Hold Eye now. I'm still losing a lot, uh, but I have a pretty good team that I feel fairly comfortable with. And I have a nice uh, max luck in uh, Kevin. Um, so yeah, I am slowly working on that. And then she is worth the trouble. She's one of the best uh, drop monsters in the game. Um, so that makes her one of the best max lucks. Okay, hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you again. Take care.